this works totally on reflecting the radiant heat. That's all it is. Where does it go? It, and it goes on top of the insulation in your attic. We lay it on top. This is what we've got here. Purely reflection. Now this was developed by NASA in the 60s for the spacecraft. This is the only insulation in that space station that's been for over 40 years circulating. On the sunny side, it is over 200 degrees Celsius. On the cold side of the same machine, it's 100, minus 150. And that is all that is keeping those, those people alive. It, it recycles 97% of the heat. It needs air on both sides to work. It works totally on reflection. President Kennedy is the one we thank for it because in 61 when he said we'll put a man on the moon in 10 years, they had untold money to do it. What they did know was that whatever the insulation they had, it had to be very light and it had to take up little space because for every pound of, that they launch into space it probably took a ton of fuel to get it there. This product is reflecting the radiant heat and the moment we put it in you will feel it all over your skin, face, everywhere. You will feel so much more comfortable. Most people are not interested in the money they're saving because they say we now have comfort. There's no cold spots in your house, it levels it all out. We need fiberglass in there because this has no R factor. When the heat's rising through your ceiling, through the drywall and then through the vapor barrier, as it goes up through the fiberglass, and I don't care if you've got R50 or R60, it makes no difference. It's getting cooler and cooler till it gets out the top. We lay this on top and it recycles 97% of that heat back you now have a blanket this thick of warm whatever the temperature of your house is and it breathes.